us we dance. What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. Hey, glad to be with you guys. Uh, so today I'm out in the Tampa Bay. I'm gonna go out here and try to find some ladyfish. I really wanna flex my new St. Croix Mojo rods and see what kind of power that they have. So I'm probably gonna try to dead stick. I got a really late start. I'm right at the top of the tide. So I'm trying to hurry up and get out here, catch the bait and get them deployed. So stay tuned. Hopefully that's how it transpires, but you know how fishing goes. So let's go, should be a good time. Make sure you give a thumbs up, turn on that bell notification and guys, and by the way, I'll be notifying you guys who won because we got 400 likes on the Skyway video. I'm gonna notify you guys soon. And also we're very close to the 400 likes on the Acaso video as well. So uh, there should be a winner for that coming up soon as well. So make sure you're liking guys, sharing and commenting. It's all important for the growth of the channel and it's much appreciated. Let's go, let's get some fish. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna be using the Mojo Yak. This is the seven foot medium action. It's MYS70 medium fast. And this is the graphite rod. This is the Mojo Yak rod with the awesome grips, shortened butt. And I haven't really been able to flex it a whole lot, but today that's gonna to be my bait rod. And in a little bit, I'll show you the rod we're gonna be using for the bigger fish. So uh, beautiful outfit so far. I got this paired with the 2500 BG and 10 pound test line 25 pound leader and i got my little doa shrimp that little three inch doa ladyfish can't stand it or they can I, I should say ladyfish can't resist it and uh hopefully i can come out here really quick find some ladyfish well that didn't take long but that is not the right one <laughs> looking for the good old ladyfish today boys and girls Hang on, big dog. All right, pretty little fish. First cast right there, guys. There he is. That's a ladyfish. No, it ain't. It's a trout. Man. I wanted to really man fast, but I thought he was going to jump off. I thought it was a little bitty lady because he jumped too. Like out of the water. That's one of the why this bait's so successful is because that hook deploys the way it does. There he is. Another big trout. Oh man, that's a good one. Wow. Healthy fish. Our trout population since the season's been closed has definitely been doing well. That's a beautiful trout. Bye bye, baby. We'll meet again. Guys, I've been fishing for that thing forever. We got him. Oh no. There he is. Oh, it's a little jack. That'll work. All right, got a little jack, got a little lady fish for bait. That Osprey got him a catfish. That was awesome. All right, guys, I got my ladyfish, and now I'm gonna chop its head off. Use that first. I usually throw it, the head in, but today all I have is one ladyfish and jack. I'm gonna save it. Guys, I'm gonna hook this just like this. You're all right. 
just like that. Let that be exposed. Oh, oh, no, that ain't a kitty. Oh, what is that? Under the trees? All right, guys, we got hooked up. I have no idea what I got. Holy smokes. It hit under the trees. It's heavy. And if that's a... Oh no, he's going back up under the trees. This might be a big red. No, oh, he's coming back out. All right, guys, first fish on the new mojo. What is it? Oh my gosh, I got my bait all the way up here. I have not been able to see it yet. Oh. Hey, watch your kayak, he's under your boat. It's a big old stingray, bro. It, is it a stingray? Are you kidding me? Oh, I see him. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm sitting here thinking we got a massive redfish. Look at this mojo getting worked right now. Gosh, well, dude, I didn't know what it was either. I thought it hooked to your drive and I'm lost. Alright guys, this is a massive stingray. Unfortunately. I thought it was a massive redfish for a second. Or a shark actually. Oh, he's trying to bury himself. Yeah, I'm gonna need probably a little help from you on this, Chris. Oh! Oh man, that ain't a little one, Chris. Oh. oh. Dude, that's why I got grass. Dude, I got him on lockdown. He's trying to bury himself right now. Shoot, that's a strong setup, Chris. And I ain't even got the drag locked down. He's burying him, so. Oh! Gotta pull him up. He's he's putting himself in the sand. Yep, the, the leader broke. Oh, that's fine, guys, because he was huge. I would have fought that fish forever trying to get him off the bottom. Sucks. I got to retie. But <sighs> it is what it is. Uh, all right, guys. Got a new bait. Try again. Wasn't that? Uh, that's sexy. I'll get it when it comes out. Oh. oh yeah all right guys now i got him he hammered that thing i need to keep my bait though get off get out of there all right healthy fish too oh i just tossed it in guys don't throw my bait off yes Yes. Yes. Look at that. Woo.
Stingray. Made me drop my banana. Look. Rest in peace, banana. Really? Another stingray? Did you try to stick me? Got a little sucker trying to stick me. Hey guys that's a wrap i hope you enjoyed today's video i'm glad i got to show you the new mojo yak rod in action nice sensitive rod guys great backbone and man you saw what that stingray was really putting it to work so pretty cool i'm looking forward to using them a lot more i like the small butt it definitely makes a lot of difference when you're sitting down and you're throwing that rod and you're jigging it it's not constantly hitting you in the stomach or the side so it makes it easier from that standpoint uh, Mojo's always been a strong blank, very good rod at the price point of uh, $115, $130, depending on where you get them. So, thumbs up St. Croix for creating another cool rod. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, comment below, turn on that bell notification, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the water.